Okay, so in this video I want to show you how you migrate your Blackboard rubrics over to Canvas and what you get when you get them migrated over. So let's start in Blackboard in a course where I have just one rubric. You probably have a lot more, but you'll see those when you go into Course Tools and then you pull up Rubrics. Get to that screen where you've got all your rubrics listed and then hit that checkbox at the top in order to select all of those rubrics and hit your export button. This is going to zip them all up, export it to our local computer, that's good, and then hit your download button once that becomes available. We should have a local zip file now. The next step is just uploading this into Canvas. So we go over to Canvas. I'm going to go into Settings in my Canvas course, Import Course Content, and Content Type, select Blackboard 6789, choose File. I'm going to find that rubric file that just got downloaded. Where are you, rubric file that just got downloaded? Rubric, there we are. Open it. All content, because the only thing in that zip file are my rubrics, or is my one rubric. And then the rest of these things I can leave blank. I'm going to hit import, and I should quickly get a message that that, well, it says queued. Let's hope that, that yeah, it looks like it already completed. So now when I go over to rubrics, and I get to my rubrics by going to outcomes, and then manage rubrics up here in the top right. Now I've got my essay rubric. Get very excited and you think, yay, that's awesome, it all worked. Except look very closely at this. Our criteria labels did not come over. So those are just um, placeholders for, or something that came in through the migration process. Um, you'll also notice that, here, let me pull over the Blackboard rubric and you can see what it looked like originally. Edit. So it was formatting, organization, and grammar, novice, competent, advanced. And then you can see there were point ranges. So 0 to 4, 5 to 7, 8 to 10 for each one of those levels of achievement. So while stuff came over, and the good news is, is that the text of all the descriptions came over, it's still going to require some editing. You'll also notice that the, um, yeah, if I hit edit rubric, that's what's going to allow me to change my criteria labels. So this was formatting, update, this was organization, so I'm hitting my little pencil icon and then um, updating that with the criteria that it should have been. And then I need to update the point ranges. So my rating title is, um, I have to decide how many points for novice. So it was, I'm, I'm just going to say two and then competent for. So you can see how it's going to require updating and then it adds it up for me over there. You'll also notice that in Canvas the best or the highest rating is on the left of the scale. So we're seeing advanced, then novice, then competent. Whereas in Blackboard, the highest rating was over at the right. So we're seeing novice on the left, then competent, then advanced. So the order of those ratings are swapped. And that probably has something to do with why the migration between the two isn't seamless. So that's another reason why you're going to want to double check, add your points, and make sure that you edit the rubric once you get it moved over to Canvas. Of course, once you get all of the edits made, you're going to click on the Update Rubric button in order to save those changes.